Joe and Jenkins. Uh, that Java is used for uh, uh, this thing. Build and deploy an application. Brand application and Jenkins. I'm going to do show that thing. Uh, in this way, uh, first of all, you have to uh, make the master builder XML. That means already uh, I have master builder XML in my in my system. This is uh, my master builder XML file. In this master builder XML file, uh, there is a module one, module two, module main. Three modules. Uh, these three modules has uh, their own builder XML. That means uh, uh, XML files. Uh, mod one uh, XML and uh, module two XML and uh, um, main main mod XML. These XML files is called in the main master uh, XML file. Uh, uh, we will call the uh, ant build files in one build file using ant file tag using this tag I will using this target I will um, using this task I will call the another uh, build.xml file as like build.xml file in the main build.xml file in this in this main build.xml file contain three other builder xml files these are the parts of that uh, xml files this is my master builder xml file this is a, a module one builder xml file and um, this is module two builder xml file and uh, this is a module three builder xml file these three files are called in one main master builder xml file using and file tasks okay the, the, uh, the, uh, right, uh, this is ready for to build Okay, then I'm going to the Jenkins and create new job. New job build and deploy. Restyle. Okay. Yeah. Mm, I'm taking the source code from SVN. I'm using SVN. I'm taking the source code. Mm, I think it's already. It's already. It's already credentials are already accepted. That's why it's not asking credentials. And uh, go to the um, build environment post policy. If is there any new change, it will automatically trigger the build. And uh, I will use and um, invoke the the build.xml file. I'm oh, sorry, this is not invoke and target first target clean. And uh, next target final. Yeah, it's uh, ready to build. And uh, how to deploy after building this project? I have to deploy I uh, in another Tomcat server. Also, you have to use this uh, plugin. Well, Container plugin. When you install this plugin, then only this uh, option appear in the um, post build action. So um, star star web and um, container is uh, Tomcat 7 and uh, user ID. Uh, user ID for remote uh, server Tomcat uh, manager admin and password. And the URL, URL of the uh, Tomcat server HTTP 30. Okay, that's it. That's it. Yeah, now it's completed. Uh, before doing that, you have to configure the uh, manager in the Okay, you have to give the configuration to this server. This is this IP address is different, and uh, uh, this IP address is different. These both are two missions. I am uh, taking the source code from SVN here. 
SVN and I am using I am build the application using invoke and after that building I, I will take that wire file and I will deploy that wire file in the remote server which is the IP address of that remote server and you have to give the that remote server tomcat user ID and password because um, you have to deploy these wire file in the web apps of the uh, another server tomcat that's only you will give you have to give these things and um, you have to before you have to configure the um, manager portal of the tomcat server I gave the uh, prepared already that only it will open otherwise it will ask user ID and password uh, for example I will show you how it ask mm. if we click on manage app you know, yeah, it will ask like this user ID and password if you not set you have to set that thing uh, using you have to edit the file uh, in your um, tomcat uh, folder tomcat folder in the conf in the conf there is a file tom i find user.xml file you have to modify these uh, uh, xml file You have to add these things, these uh, uh, four lines or uh, four lines and six lines in the Tomcat file, then only you will get the uh, permissions to manage your uh, Tomcat. Here I am using um, password admin and uh, user ID admin. If that user ID and password I uh, I will give here in this here uh, because I, I would like to deploy this fire in the remote server that's only you have before you have a configure manager here and then you will give that uh, password and uh, user ID here then only it will automatically take the deploy if for automatically deploy you will uh, you install the plugin or deploy container plugin then only you will see the uh, this thing uh, this option in the job creation if you, if you didn't uh, install uh, this plugin you didn't get this option okay uh, now it's ready to uh, deploy everything is ready now i will save and now i will build now yeah it's going on see the output it's taking the source code and it's going on and clean and and clean is successful it taking is and final this is module one code in module one it's going uh, um, clean prepare compile and it's module two module two also same like uh, clean prepare compile and uh, main module it's also same like uh, clean um, compile and prepare everything is okay now finally you will get the uh, this uh, war file and example war file this is uh, final this is a combination of uh, uh, these three modules uh, this is three three modules combined you will get this and example dot war this is a final war this is the final product of the build now you will deploy this build in this server using uh, um, deploy container yeah uh, it takes from your um, uh, workspace this war file and you uh, take this war file and uh, it's uh, deploy the uh, url where you gave the url in the url it will take everything is okay fine uh, finally it it's do these all, all things uh, yeah these are the targets in the main master builder xml this is uh, clean of the master builder xml this is module one calling uh, these three these four three um, targets are in module one and calling module two and these three targets are in module two this is a main module and these um, three are the uh, main module and you uh, finally you call the final target in the final target 